Hello beautiful people and uh, welcome back to a very wild, a very crazy, a very entertaining but also towards the end a very very serious episode in which we're gonna take this right here, the individual defense and we're gonna use this in order not just to give players a couple of tips, some important stuff but we're also gonna use this in order to show River Games some very critical aspects of the game right now in other words, I'm going to show you some game engine real issue, but not just that, also the way your product works right now is literally telling me stop spending so much money, spend far less and you're going to get at least the same results. So this should definitely going to be very alarming and very recommended of course for River Game to watch this episode. And of course, we're going to end this video with something also very important and serious at the same time, which is an announcement regarding this channel. So of course what you're seeing here are the battle reports from my account in the individual events. I have not used the base buffs but that wouldn't have made a bigger difference either way. So let's click on this battle report right here and let's start of course to give you some tips but also of course I'm going to show you the results of some accounts which are far far more crazier than mine. So first of all, what we learn out of this is what I have told you in a, a few episodes on this channel, if you are a regular viewer of this channel, is pay attention to your formation and how you send it. Where exactly is that formation? Yeah. So because in this case, what I'm trying to tell you here is that my strongest formation is set for all my margins. So in this case, you see the sharp formation being in here. The second wave being, for example, the Navy in this case, you're also going to see the shark formation being active. And of course, you're also going to see that on the tanks being also active. This is super important to have the strongest formation possible being actually active. The next tip when it comes down to the players, of course, you can imagine this is absolutely super crazy. I definitely enjoyed this level of difficulty or in other words, we must speak the truth. The problem is River Game not having a quality control team. Most of the time they are releasing stuff exactly like this. And you can simply imagine this will definitely gonna get nerfed. What else I want to mention is here is of course the presence of Mr. Snake Eyes. It's a great hero, there's no question about it. But in this particular case, whenever your opponent is going to hit, those hits are going to be so massive due to the fact of this event not being properly balanced, which will definitely going to happen very, very soon. If you are even lucky to have a couple of units on those slots for Mr. Snake Eyes to hit back, he won't help you that much. That's no question about it. So from this perspective, yeah, if you haven't yet done the individual defense, take in consideration not to use Mr. Snake Eyes. Good. Let me show you now the results here and of course you want to see the ranking for this server 2216 because you guys know there are a couple of players here on this server. The server is absolutely super strong and they are absolutely far far stronger than me. So here are the points and what I have obtained is uh, 41,147 right now and uh, dear beautiful people and dear river game this is exactly the moment in which i'm going to put the salt and the pepper on the table because this is the exactly part of the video in which it's going to become very very spicy very entertaining but also very important for your river game actually to turn those translating apps on in order for you to understand this as best as possible first main issue we should definitely have acknowledged as soon as possible which is by the way this video because you don't have a quality control team is your game engine no longer it's able to process this amount of data so we are not speaking about the lag the lag would be one step before this which is yeah some people would say very alarming some may say nah it's fine Good. So let me show you what I mean by that. So here is the magic finger. You see it. I'm just going to press this button right here. Replay. So we're going to press it right now and have a look how long it takes for this to load. And I am playing, by the way, let me raise this up to the camera. It's an iPad Pro from 2023. Not the worst device possible in order to play a game on. So what happens here is not just the lag, 
but also if I'm gonna click this button right there in order to go to the next March in order to see what happens because I simply love to see exactly what happens exactly during the battle with this battle animation. Here we go. So three, two, one, I'm pressing it and have a look at what happens. Not just only the delay, which is absolutely ridiculous, but what you're gonna see here after the heroes are buffing, you're gonna see there my slot number one upstairs is gonna hit one, that's the regular attack, and after that, nothing will happen. So, you know what, let's press up there X4, because nothing will happen, beautiful people. So, this is exactly how it looks like. So, I'm not changing anything, nothing is happened. So, at this point, the game engine is no longer capable to handle this amount of information. So, yeah, one would say it's a miracle that the game doesn't crash, but still doesn't change the fact you should definitely take this in consideration. So, you know what? Let me show you that this is not an accident. I'm gonna press again the next wave and the same thing will literally gonna happen. Not just only that you see right now how much it takes to load this, which is unbelievable. You are also gonna see, I'm not gonna see any hero procs. So let me press again because these are just a few units there. Again, takes a while to load this. And in this case, we have, uh, by the way, the Navy, we have the X4 right there. What we're gonna see is definitely the first hit, this right here, the regular attacks, and after this, nothing happens. I'm not pressing anything, here are my hands, and you can see now on the screen this thing moving back and forth, it's not happening. So this is something super important to pay attention to River Game, but you know what, this is not even the worst thing possible, because let me show you something in which your system, your game as it is right now, due to the fact that you are not willing to listen, or probably not even able to understand what I'm telling you, your system, your game is telling me, stop spending money, because spending less is sometimes even better, and this should be even more alarming, because yeah, it has something to do with revenue. So. Let's take, for example, this battle report right here, okay? Just for example. So, do you see something suspicious in here? So, you see Brady, Chinji, and uh, Mr. Abbott, for example. And you see my Chinji done only three uh, attacks with 1.37 AA. And you see Mr. Abbott doing 4.6 8 AA damage. So if that is not suspicious, let me make it suspicious for you. And I'm gonna press this button right here, the attributes. So you know what? Have a look at this. In God's name, this costs 1,800 US American dollars in order to get a level seven, while this costs you 10 times less, $180. Now, I'm not saying that this result happens very, very often, but they happen pretty much a lot in which, what other message could you understand out of this? Because you, dear River Game employee, are still refusing to even understand the necessity of free working the combat system, but this is not the only example. Let's go into the next one and show you that things like this happened. Let's take this example. It's also an awesome one. Does it look suspicious to you when you look at Mr. Po, Lila, and Zen? Good, it's not suspicious. Let me make it suspicious for you. So, this is $1,800, dear River Game, while this is $180, while this is also $180, and I often get to see, players get often to see this kind of battle results, which inevitably brings you to this conclusion. What's the point to spend? So if your alarm bells are not ringing by now, you should definitely change the batteries, uh, the River game, and uh, have another look at this situation. Good. Okay, let's go a bit more serious when it comes down to this because I have a very, very important announcement when it comes down to this channel. Super important and I hope the vast majority of you guys have reached this part of this video and are not missing on this information in order to understand what's happening in the background. So, I have been, quote, fighting with Google, aka YouTube, for around about two weeks right now 
as there are some claims coming from YouTube, I have invalid traffic on my channel. I have studied a lot the YouTube analytics and of course I also contacted the YouTube support a couple of times. And the problem is of course such important videos which also means a lot of work from my side being watched on external platforms. Like for example on Discord, like for example on WhatsApp or Instagram, whatever, you name it. And somehow Google says this is invalid traffic for my YouTube account and this has some severe issue when it comes down to this YouTube channel. Therefore, I am forced to take action. So there are a couple of options which I can choose from. Not all of them are the best. And my decision was actually up this moment. Whenever you're gonna see my videos being linked to Discord, to Facebook, to Instagram, to WhatsApp, whatever, you name it. Whenever you're gonna click that play button, you are gonna have two simple options. Option number one, you really wanna see that video, go on the YouTube platform and watch it there because it's again free and on top of this, you are supporting our channel here. Or option number two, don't remain lazy, but don't have access to this free information. Hopefully a lot of these videos are super informative and actually help you. But trust me, the alternatives which were recommended to me by YouTube was stop uploading any kind of videos for at least one week or two weeks till this situation gets settled or start another channel. So I don't think either of these options will somehow benefit anyone here in the community because I truly hope from the bottom of my heart there are still a lot of players out there which are helped actually due to these massive efforts from my side doing these episodes, testing this and testing that. So beautiful people, this was the decision which I have taken right now. You're always going to see the video links but you will only be able to see these videos directly on the YouTube platform as always 100% free. And while you are in there, take in consideration to press that subscribe button because that also helps the channel and it's also free. So beautiful people, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope this was a very entertaining, very amusing and hopefully very serious and very important episode also towards River Game. As always, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to see me in the next episode. Ciao guys.